So her and this other little scamming look thing done created a whole movement to take you down. And that girl that you had this uh, legend argument with, with Charles was on the live. She's a part of it. And she's the face of it, but she got Hillary as the face, but she's the one who created the movement. And it all stems from the fact they want you up out of the app. But my thing with this is Hillary, like I said, I knew Hillary from way back then. Hillary did the same thing. Hillary, I could show matches of Hillary cussing black women out, calling them bees, trying to do business with them. And she did the exact same thing. Actually, in reality, she worse than you. If you want the truth, let me let me respond to these comments real quick, though, because some, somebody said that I'm trying to make everybody seem like they support Ms. Netta. I can't make nobody support shit. Hold on. Let me make me me the big screen. I can't make nobody support shit. You support what you want to support. You you like who you like and you who you don't like. Ms. Netta got got Ms. Netta own thing going on. I'm just over here not being biased. This is about something else. Like I said, I'm not going to bring a person up here and then all of a sudden um, attack them with a, bar a barrage of questions and shit about some motion. That's a setup. People do it all day on podcasts, interviews all the time. You know what I'm saying? And the second thing, y'all, but I'm tearing down Hillary. Let's get to it. Hillary has sit and fucking lied. Hillary sat and recorded personal mess uh, phone calls between my and take you down. So you got a petition on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll petition his, his ass, all right. Yeah. Okay. Why do you want to go live Why do you want to go live with him? Okay. You know, like they always said, a lot of people have been saying that it's three sides or whatever, two sides or whatever to each story. I never had a conversation with Hillary. Hillary always came for me and came at me. My thing about this, uh, like I just told y'all, I'm not going through a spiritual, spiritual thing. I'm just going through something that's trying to better myself. And um, if we can have a conversation where she can just drop all this drama, let it go or whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to let it go. Because by guns, let by guns be by guns. I'm 47 years old. I don't know how old Hillary is. But I'm 47 years old, and I don't have time for all this stuff. I came on social media to do a job, and that's what I'm doing. And it's interfering in me doing my job with this BS with Hillary. So if you got something that you want to say to me, or get off your chest instead of going on social media every night trying to, you know, get up this crowd, then why not say it to me? Because I felt like I told y'all, I don't, I, I've never done anything to Hillary. You know, I don't know Hillary. Hillary just appeared out the damn, like fell from the sky. I'm like, what's this bitch? You know, where you come from? She so, have a, 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 you have a conversation, conversation with, with it. It. It's, it's gonna, gonna come, come out. out. And then y'all gonna talk, and then everything gonna be squashed. Then she don't have no content. Like we giving her content now. Like she been making her profile about us. Now, now we the backdrop. She said she gonna piggyback to you, girl. But she said we the uh, top is now because we are the role mod. So if she make up with you, she won't have no content. really nothing y'all know they doing tiktok can y'all please double tap the live give me two hundred thousand likes and share the live because i just got a violation report so can y'all please share the live gift the panel support the live um i got something I'm looking real quick, for, quick one on document i am looking forward to that. i don't mind sharing with y'all and i have it i don't know where the fuck it is because i've been getting stuff from this company arbitration agreements and all this shit y'all know how it is when there's new stuff going on um i have the document of Hillary's annulment showing that Nate has Nate been gone from Hillary since Hillary been on this app. So all this time, Hillary's been lying, talking about my husband. Y'all looking at my husband. This bitch want my husband. Hillary, you ain't had shit. Hello. Been gone since January 24th of 2022. Oop, how did I know to say that when you said it? Can because I have factual, factual information and, and um, Hillary is in here. Hillary been in here. 
I know. Oh, the one that's coming in an account, that is the troll page, the one that keeps talking about I took advantage of her. Girl, and then this, this, if this is Hillary, let me just say something. Baby girl, I had no beef with you. I opened my panel up because you doxed my enamor when I was just helping your bed wig when you know the rest. So stop seeing somebody you know. I never met Danny, never knew them, never even been to the side of TikTok they was on. I met them in your life when you bagged me to mine for you. So let's be clear. I don't know these ladies, but I opened my panel up for them to speak because you were a liar and I've been knew you was lying. Let me say something, Hillary. You were so pressed. You was about Omar got flaked on by Miss Netta. And I'm at Miss Netta reached out to me. And I'm going live with Miss Netta, you fucking liar. Let me tell you this though, Hillary. You big mad, huh? Cause Miss Netta over here chilling with the freezer gang, huh? We don't I, and I'm gonna be real. If we go to Miss Netta page, it's gonna be thousands of viewers. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm comfortable with my with my low numbers. The, the statement is made, see, because let me tell y'all something about TikTok. I'm gonna be real with you, and this this something too for you, Miss Netta. Numbers don't mean shit. It's the power and connections of what you do with the numbers that you do have. It's what you do. It's what you do with your platform. I can I, I can hold a live about a whole different topic and have more numbers up in here than this. No disrespect to you, Miss Netta. I'm just saying how what my page is built on. So. What oh, I'm I saying, believe I'm saying, you. I know. I was, I was able, able to reach out to each other. And we talked like fucking grown adults. And I was like, Ms. Netta, come on over. Ms. Netta said, you know what, Omar? I got all these followers over here. I make a lot of money on my platform. Ms. Netta said, I'm going to come fuck with you, Omar. I'm going to come chill with you because I don't like this bitch, Hillary. So how much power is that, Hillary? Huh? Hmm. But I would never go over to Hillary's live and say, I'll do anything. So to give her, she making enough money off of Miss Nana. So why should I go over there? I just want to tell Miss Nana. Hillary did help you that lady Mike when they had that interview on her panel, and um, Nana came to her panel. Hillary kept moving the mic to get her ones on because she was scared. Yeah, she took the information. That's what she hyped up the crowd. Yeah, you did that thing. She made all that money. Yeah, and I just jumped off the line. I said I'll never come back to that picture of the boo. She never had a conversation with no cop. And let me say this. Let me say something. I got a mute job. Um, TikTok was doing that too until I updated the app the other day. Let me say this. Um, I saw a few videos of Ms. Netta. I saw Ms. Netta viral. I see people talk about it. I've never followed Ms. Netta uh, content like that because I never had nothing bad to say about Ms. Netta or anything. And then I've seen, of course, I'm on internet and I see things. I don't agree with um, some of the things Ms. Netta doesn't say, right? But at the same time, no, it's like, Ms. Netta, you, you could come over here and join in my discussion. Whenever you see me live, you're welcome to come through. Because with me, I like building organic shit. I don't have to do it just for the numbers in the cloud. Because if that was the case, like I said, we would have went back to your platform and did it. I did this shit to make a statement. I did this to let you know, Hillary, you ain't shit. Hillary, I bought you to this app. Hillary, I'm your daddy. And what the parents tell you, I bought you this motherfucker, I could take you out. So you keep on fucking around. After I leave the police, because I'm, I'm going to get off in a minute because I got to get some rest because I got another shift to do tonight. It's going up. We, we did grand opening last night. Tonight we got some big shit going on. Um, after I leave the police department and they go reach out to you and them cease and desist and all that shit come in, you better pipe your ass down. Uh, second of all, if I ever want to slaughter you and get you the fuck out of here, I will take it to another platform and it won't be nice. It won't be a recap on how I brought Hillary to this motherfucker. I'm going to talk about your little burnt, uh, burnt Easter basket uh, hair, grass, wig wearing ass. And I'm going to tear you from limb to limb on this motherfucker. I, 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 it won't be the Omar who won't put out addresses. It won't be the Omar who's fighting good versus evil. I'm going to rip you from ass to appetite. And, and, and go dunk your ass in a pool of uh, alcohol. For, straight up. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Can All I say I, something to Miss Netta? Hold on, hold on one second. Okay. I'm going to let you go, go Netta, and let you talk to Miss Netta. Let me say something. All I did was help you, Hillary. I was there for you. You lied and faked like that man was in your life, and you act like you really wanted good advice. I talked to you like a regular friend off of the app. Motherfuckers wouldn't even get my phone number off this app till last year or email, let alone any contact with me outside of this app. I took you in, I befriended you. And, and you fucking turned on me and you set up and recorded personal conversations, which is illegal, 
But that let me know that you already had a hidden motive. You felt a certain type of way. And that you are, you are very obsessive. And I think it's, and, and you know, I worked in mental health facilities for years and I'm an advocate for mental health. But just because you got mental health issues doesn't mean you're not a fucked up person. I would suggest that you go get that schizophrenia uh, taken care of and that's personality disorder taken care of because I'm not the one. I'm not gonna sit on here and keep going back and forth with a motherfucker that, that's gonna use their mental illness as an excuse. I'm not gonna sit on here and I'm not gonna make your special needs as uh, popular or famous off of me. I, give you, I gave you a platform, everything that you have is because of me. I have a regular life. That's why my numbers are like they are. I don't come on here every day. I get on other people's panels for a minute and I go on by my way. And I go get some pussy. That's what's wrong, y'all ain't fucking. Y'all need to go fuck, have y'all some orgasms, y'all be way happier when you get on this app. And that's what's wrong. And I'll keep it a buck with you. So I would suggest you go take care of yourself before you worry about the next motherfucker. That's your problem. I've never had a problem in the women department. I don't like men. And I don't have no secrets to hide with my sexuality. I'm, I, am, I, 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 I exude big dick energy over here. All right? I work for a meat packing company. I drive a truck that says meat on the motherfucker. I love, I love black women. I date exclusively black women. All right? I am married to a black woman. So don't ever try to come for me. You can never be the man that I am. You can never be the woman or that, that, that I'm with. So I suggest you go do some soul searching, get your motherfucking self together, and leave me the fuck alone. Seriously. It is something wrong with you. And I'm not the one to fix it. I tried to help you. I rebuilt the thing. My bad. I got to charge my phone. It wasn't nothing else. You turned around and you snaked me. And I, I, you know, I don't like it because it's happened to me before. And you know what I mean? People always tell me, Omar, to be mean. But I'm honestly a nice person because I was raised to be mean. My family didn't play that shit. They raised me to be a mean and I'm be mean and I'm an asshole. So I don't like the fact that you actually took advantage of me and then you come on and make up lies. I could do the same thing, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let Miss Netta eat your ass up. I'm gonna let these ladies eat your ass up. Cause me, I slapped the fuck out of you. And you know I got money. I just got back from Hawaii, spent almost ten thousand. I got money, I could pop up. And you a nigga, so you can't sit on here and say, Omar is going against this. And, and people, and you just threatened me the other day, straight up. A flight to Connecticut, is, hold on, hold on, hold on, I got this. I got this, let me talk to little Jody. A flight to Connecticut is nothing. Since you lying, talking about I'm taking flights, getting hotels, sleeping with my mods, no, I fly out and fuck people up, straight up. I'm a skinny nigga, but I got hands, I will fuck you up. Now, you can take that to the police, take it, whatever. And then all I'm gonna tell you, like I tell anybody else, cause you've taken it off of TikTok, that's why I'm there with it. That's why I'm there with you. You've taken it off of social media to real life. When motherfuckers start screaming world star, you better start swinging for your motherfucking life because that means somebody losing. Leave me the fuck alone. Y'all can go ahead now. Miss Nada, um, hi, my name is Nada. I've um, just been, I just started following you, I guess a couple of months ago. I, I not only know you from TikTok. I know everybody's team cancel you. And this, that, and the other, I'm gonna tell you this. I like your content. I know everybody's saying that you might need to take a social media break. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But it's just like when you're defending yourself, I understand that. So it's just like, this is how you make your money. So I think like, like you was banned for, I mean, sorry, you was, you wasn't able to go live last week because of whatever, you know, what happened. Because I saw that Hillary did, um, she reported your page. When you're not when you're not the talk of the town, she has nothing to talk about. And so that's why, yeah, she reeled a lot of us uh, black ladies in because she wanted us to go, you know, to cancel you or whatever. But it's just like. You didn't I mean, you didn't offend me and I watch a, I watch a lot of your lives because I've been on uh, I've been off work for a little bit because of my workers comp or whatever. So you've been my entertainment and I don't take offense when you say your stuff, when you say when you get um, irated because I know you know, people's coming at you. So you just defending yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't want you to think that everybody's team Hillary. And I think the only reason why this movement, they got this movement going on is because they have that lady, that black lady that's actually 
felt offended by it, I guess. I guess when Charles was on the line or whatever, that whole situation, whatever. But if if that wouldn't have happened, Hillary wouldn't you if you wasn't around, Hillary wouldn't have nothing to talk about. Well, she was a liar too. I mean, she yeah, yeah. she called Charles, well, uh, inbox Charles and was telling Charles that I'd have been on her live and I'd have uh, reported her live and got her page shut down. Early morning, late. Everybody else, what they say with, when they say stuff about uh, black ladies and stuff like this. You can't just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was said. What, what, she said what she said. But if it's worse stuff that's been said every single day about us, hold every on, single on, day. Hold on, hold on, Netta. Let, let Miss Netta finish and then you go. We're going to take turn mutant and then, um, you know what I mean, like that, because I don't want nobody to feel like they're uh -huh. And I want both of y'all to, because it's, I like good dialogue.